here with Kentucky head coach Lars Jorgensen, third place at the SEC meet. How does that feel right now for you guys? You know, it was great. It, it was uh, everybody contributed in our team, and uh, you know, we had some great swims. But you know, Asia winning her first mm -hmm. championship was outstanding today. But you know, it was a team effort across the board. Um, you know, our, all of our coaches. Um, you know, our strength coach, athletic trainers, and, you know, everybody really had a huge part in our success. And yeah. um, all the girls contributed so much this weekend, so it was a great meet. Behind Tennessee coming in the last day, yep. they're on their home turf, so how did you guys get up and race this morning? Well, we thought we had a pretty good day last day. Yep. Um, so, um, you know, we kind of closed the gap a little bit every single day. Um, but, you know, they had to swim well this morning, and they all did. Uh, Turner backstroke was key with, uh, with yeah. all four of those making the final. Um, you know, our, our breaststrokers, Gina, um, was outstanding in the 100 freestyle. Um, and then our relay broke a school record at the end. So there was, uh, in, our, in our 1650, Kendall Casey had an outstanding heat. Yeah, she did, heat. out of the early heats. Um, three big finals. Um, Meredith Wisenhunt, all those people were outstanding. So there was yeah. a lot of people that contributed. I want to ask you about the backstroke group because yeah. you had two two veterans welcome in two freshmen. Yeah. So what were the dynamics of that, especially you know having sisters, which can, yes. can be a little dicey, I suppose. You know they all get along pretty well. Um, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm sure they have their moments, but um, <laughs> but as far as in practice, they're very supportive. It's very competitive. Um, it's a whole lot of fun to coach uh, yeah. because one of them's going fast all the time. And uh, so they challenge one another, support one another. Um, you know, we thought we could be pretty good this week, we're, but our goal is to be better in March. Sure. And, and so we'll hopefully build upon that. So how does it work today with the dynamics when, you know, someone like Asia does really well, Danielle does pretty well, and then Bridget has an off day? Yes. Um, well, you know, Bridget's going to swim well in, in March. Yeah, I'm sure. Um, and uh, so um, Allie got a best time, yeah. Asia, so they're all, they all swim really well. Um, Bridget does a little bit better with a couple more days of, of taper, mm -hmm. um, so we'll we'll make that adjustment for her for instance to race. But how is she? Was she able to be like really supportive of? Uh, oh, she's pressure? great. She's a team captain, mm -hmm. a leader on our team, the hardest worker we have, um, and uh, Bridget's a huge yeah. huge part of our success in the practice pool as much as it is here. Um, she's super positive and works really hard. Yeah. So what can you say about how far your, your program, especially your women's program, has come since you've been at Kentucky? Well, um, you know, we've worked hard, and, um, and so we're just taking small steps. Our goal wasn't necessarily coming here and get third. Our goal was just to get better, um, make a presence on, you know, at NC2As, um, just, just get better every year. Um, that's all we're trying to do, you know. It's going to be fun, Coach. See you in Indy. Thanks. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it.